Hey G2, welcome back to another video. Um, so good to be with you. Today we're going to be speaking about generosity. And if I were to title what I'm about to speak on, I would title it giving back. Giving back. So we're going to speak about why it is important to be generous today. I've covered this topic a little bit uh, in the past, but it's something that I wanted to revisit as the Holy Spirit has recently uh, re-challenged me in this area. And as I've been thinking about why it's important to give back the lord has continued to reveal some things about himself and uh on this topic to me which i'm excited to share with you i want to start off by reminding everybody that uh, we serve a generous god we serve a god who loves to give uh, giving is in god's nature and it's who he is john 3 16 says for god so loved the world that he what that he gave right he gave his only son we see in genesis the lord taking uh the earth and uh it, it was covered it was void it was covered by a deep uh, a sea by water and he brought life to it uh, uh he said let there be light there was light god did not create the earth as a dwelling place for him god exists outside of his creation outside of space time and matter god is god all on his own i was says, heaven is his home earth is his footstool so god did not need earth but god wanted creation so he created earth he created the wind and the waves and the sea he created uh, uh, the fish he created the animals the trees the flowers the bushes food fruit right vegetables he created all of it and then out of his creation he created man he created you and I from the dust of the earth. The Bible said he created Adam, breathed his breath into him, uh, 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 into his soul and gave him life. So we serve a God who loves to give and um, giving back is, is a part of our life cycle. Giving back is, uh, it, it's a law. It is... Um, something that is uh, it is a principle giving and receiving and it is important to do um and i would say one of the greatest things you can do as a young person even if you're in high school um it, or you're not even in high school yet you can begin to give you can begin to be generous and it's not just with your wealth we all have a western mindset in that we link generosity to wealth resources and financial abundance but it's a lot more than that being generous doesn't just mean yeah giving of your money but also giving of your time giving of your attention giving of your words maybe spending time with someone and just listening to them so generosity is an incredible thing that I would encourage you to get into the habit of doing. And I'm going to give you a few uh, pretty cool reasons why giving is so, so, so powerful. So one of the reasons that I try to continually give and live a generous lifestyle is because I never want to be in a season um, where I... I am really 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 struggling and what i mean by that is obviously we're going to go through trials and tribulations i'm not going to say that because i'm a generous person i'm never going to face hardship that's just not true but i want to know that in my yesterdays i have done my very best to make a provision for today i want to know that i have stewarded my past well my past time attention effort resources money friendships relationships well so that i can experience increase in my tomorrows and in my future if you constantly want to be in a place of getting harvests and bringing it in then you always have to be sowing seed always if a farmer never sows seed, uh, uh, how can he expect the ground to produce? It just, it doesn't happen. So although we don't have this mentality and heart of, oh, I'm giving just so I can get, it is going to happen. When you give, you will get. When you sow seed and you water that with your prayer, uh, uh, with your attention, with your focus, uh, and just with your trust in God, it's going to come back to you. And it's going to come back to you more than uh, you sowed or planted. So the first one is living in um, a life where you are constantly experiencing harvest means that it is important to always sow seed. It is important to always be generous. It is important to always be mindful about what you're doing with your time and your money. One of the great questions that you can ask yourself if you find yourself wanting to get into the habit of being a more generous person is wake up every morning, ask yourself the question, how can I be generous today? Or I, I ask in a different way. I say, who can I serve today? 
And at the end of the day, ask yourself, who did I serve or how was I generous and what did that look like? And if you just systematically get into the discipline of doing that every day, you will realize that throughout your weeks and months and years, you're going to sow a lot of seed into a lot of different people in a lot of different situations. And God honors that, which is great. So I'd say that's the first reason. It's a, I mean, I, I could probably stop there. It's a pretty good reason, but we're going to go on to number two. Uh, w one of the greatest things ever about generosity um, comes from a scripture from the Bible that gives us insight into our own heart and desires, okay? Where it's basically, to sum it up, speaking about your heart will follow your money. So uh, where, a man sh where a man's treasure is, there his heart is also. This is saying that where your resources and wealth is, where your abundance is, where you where you spend your time, where you spend your money, where you spend your attention, where you spend your focus is where your heart is going to go. You ever find yourself doing something and it's like the more you do it, the more you want to do it? Like maybe you uh, got into the habit of your school holidays of watching TV every day. Now all you want to do is watch TV or you started running every day and all of a sudden you miss a day of running and you find yourself missing it like, oh man, I missed out because I actually enjoy it. So this is another uh, a thing that is so true of life is the more you do something, the more you want to do it. So if I am constantly eating just one food all the time, uh, I'm going to uh, actually eventually desire to just keep eating that food. If I'm always sleeping in late, I'm going to desire to always sleep in late and to sleep in later and later and later. So whatever you do, and if you do it consistently, you will desire to do it. So why am I saying this? Well, this is true of your money as well. So I find, I find that when I was uh, thinking to myself, man, I just, I, I, I want to desire to be in church. I want to desire to read my Bible. I want to desire to get closer to God, meaning that I didn't necessarily desire to do those things. One of the big turnarounds was tithing huge turnaround tithe tithes and offerings tithe 10 percent. that's what that word means tithe is 10 uh and that was everything i was earning i would take 10 percent out every single month and i'd sow it into the house i'd give it to the church i'd give it to the lord and then i would give above and beyond that and that's offering that's my sacrificial offering to the lord's and, and that's basically me saying lord i'm not just going to honor you with 10 percent, but i'm going to go above and beyond and i'm going to bring a sacrifice to you and i want to thank you that as my money goes as the first little bit of my money goes into the house all the rest of it will be blessed and i coupled that with the prayer help my heart to follow my money if you want to be more vested in god if you want to be more vested in the word, in your time with the Lord, in your spiritual walk and journey, invest in it. Give to it because your heart really does follow your money. And this is an incredible principle that um, I, to this day, I mean, I still practice like every single month when money comes in, I, I give um tithes and offerings to the Lord. And it's now, it's not, it's no longer a discipline. I'm not even being diligent with it because I don't have to, because I actually just desire it. I feel like even a day late, like I, I do it as soon as I get paid. But if I wait a day, I have this thing over me like, man, I haven't done that. And I want to do that because I know how important it is. I know how crucial it is. I know what the benefits are. And I just, I want to honor God in this. So it's an important thing to do. So we, I've already just covered two and what, what are we like eight minutes in? So the first one was, uh, if you always want to be in harvest, you always got to sow seed. Second one is your heart will always follow your money. And the third thing is that if, I mean, generosity is part of God's nature. So if you are a follower of Jesus, if you're a Christian, if you are Christ-like, Christ is generous. God is generous. So to be Christ-like, to be, to, to operate in Christianity, to um, uh, 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 reveal your faith through your actions means to be a generous person. I would say that's the third one. That's probably, I would say that's definitely the most important one is I want people to know who I love, who I serve and what I believe by how I live. I mean, essentially that's what it is. It's like people who call themselves Christians, but you, you have no, you, if they hadn't said it, you wouldn't have known. 
I, I don't want that to be the case. I, I want people to know before I say I'm a Christian, oh, he's a Christian. And I'm not just talking about my name. I know we got that whole thing going on, but uh, people know already like, oh man, he's, he's generous. He, you know, he helps people. He, he serves people. I know he's a Christian or I, I know that he believes in something better than him. So I would say that's definitely the most important one. But those are just three points on why generosity is important. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I have a whole bunch more I want to say, but we're just about out of time right now. Um, but uh, it, it's so great. It's so important to be a generous person. And last thing I'll add is, it is man, it does more for you. It really does. It does way more for you than it does the person who you're extending your generosity to. That's why the Bible says it's better to give than it is to receive. I, I'm 100% a believer in that. 100% because uh, of the joy that floods my life when I am giving to people, when I'm helping people out. Um, and one of the things I would encourage you to do is set aside some budgets, some time, some money uh, to give to people. Get intentional about that. Stop praying about that. Get a list. Stop formulating a list like, Lord, who do you want me to invest in? Who do you want me to invest my time and my money and uh, my wisdom in? You know, who, who do you want me to uh, uh, really make better and bless and God will lead you to those people he always he's faithful to do that and the more you start to do that you'll see some fruit coming in your life that you haven't seen before because you're doing things you haven't done so you're getting things you haven't got and God is such an honorer of our generosity and it's also important to remember that God gave first he did um he made us, he saved us, and he's upgraded us. And um, that 10% is just honor to say, Lord, I know I'm not breathing air that I created. You created everything. And I'm honoring you for that. And now I'm going to go above and beyond and give you a sacrificial offering and bless your people. I'm going to love what you love. Uh, so that, I mean, that's how I love him is by loving what God loves. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope that this has helped you guys out. Um, and I would encourage you to just pray about it. Pray about it. Ask God about it. And watch him begin to work in your life in this way. And this is one of the craziest, most incredible and awesome things that we have access to as people. Not just Christians, but as people. So with that, God bless you. I'll see you guys next week.